Yvonne and Shelley's invitation to participate in free space draws on part of your own remarkable manifesto, unexpected generosity, as their gaze has reached for the Northern Hemisphere to us in the South. In return, our installation presents an instrument that draws a long lens from Venice back toward Australia and our work within both the urban context and the Australian landscape. D.H. Lawrence wrote the novel Kangaroo while living in Australia in the 1920s. Writing home to England, he would sign his name, D.H. Lawrence, upside down at the bottom of the world. This fragment of knowledge has fascinated us for many years and has underscored a number of our projects. As Australians, we find ourselves adhered by gravity to the base of this vast hemisphere. Much of our history is that of a cultivar, drawing from the top of the world and through adaption, making it our own. Our fascination with view lines has invariably caused us to orchestrate plans around what we imagined to be the experience of arrival and habitation and then reference to the world beyond. These can be portals that actually shape the space itself that provide an armature to a specific setting. But they can also be the edge condition of a building that actually apply our understanding of the alignment within the world beyond and a linkage between constructed space and landscape specifically. Uh, building within landscapes is something that we take as part of often our initial point of research. We we'll research into the nature of a natural landscape, its colonial applications, or the idea of an urban setting that's radically transformed from any uh, appreciation of what was once there. Our lengthy and particularly iterative design process, the decision was made to disassemble the structure from its working parts and consider it as an instrument. Much like a camera with its casing removed to express its working functions. It was at this point that we determined our exhibition to be a series of portals and thresholds that acutely orchestrate various forms of engagement from the most intimate to the most social, with opportunities for entering within or standing back and observing. The capacity of Natasha's work to confound perception and challenge what and how we see things led us to invite her into our project for Venice. Importantly, she impressed upon us the accuracy and discipline that is required to trick the human mind into believing that which is not real. In this project specifically, the skills of others are exposed. The remarkable timber construction has been a direct, directly linked between our computer modelling and the cutting machines of Jacaranda Industries in a large industrial factory in Geelong. The remarkable steel fabrication that Derek has provided, made in a, in a small factory in the countryside in rural Victoria, has again extended the range and almost the geography of our reach with this project. We have drawn from so much of the work of our practice a greater knowledge of an expanded conceptual repertoire for creating settings for human experience that are both universal and specific to place. An instrument is created to see what otherwise cannot be seen. This recasts portals, thresholds and edges as free spaces that generously give visitors a privileged vantage point to experiences beyond their immediate physical space to somewhere other.